my beautifully deformed children, who I love anyways. This is Jackson on Paragage Gaming. And I'm bringing you a little tutorial on Sign Shop on Aquana. As you can see from the entire chat blowing up. Uh, let me fix my microphone right here. Uh, let's see. First we have this, uh, this wall. Pretend this is our shop. And there's a giant wall right here, just kind of separating the chest from the, uh, from the sign. First of all, you'll want to uh, place a sign, do bracket, buy. Another bracket. And you'll want to put a price. And this is all you need. Just this initial sign. Just the buy and the, mat, the amount at the bottom. It has to be like this. But usually you want to give the customers some information. So let's uh, put in string. And 64. I'll sell 64 for 20. Now, that is inactive, so nothing can happen from that right now, because it doesn't go off your inventory. Let's see, I conveniently have 64 string in my inventory. And we have see this chest, and you put it in there. And you have to write, have the right amount to connect these. Because whenever you connect it, like this line, to the chest, it must be the right amount. Because this amount right here does not code for anything. That's just extra information for your customer. So let's punch that. Punch this, and bam, it's connected. Anyone can buy it by right clicking. See how it turns blue? Alright, now, let's reset this. And I'm gonna do this. Alright, now, baby in the background, don't worry, I'm not murdering anybody. Uh, there's a buy, let's do that, and do one. So let's go to string. And this time we're only gonna sell one of them. One for one dollar. Not a good deal for the stack for twenty dollars. That's a pretty good discount, but oh well. Now let's, this time you only put one in there. It, as I said before, you have to connect it as is, like as the amount. So you connect that, and then you have one string for sale. After that, you can put it as many as you want. You can fill the entire inventory with it if you can just fill it up. And it's blue for for the meantime. Whenever it gets empty, it turns red. Now I will show you how to sell. Say I don't want. I ran out of string, and I really don't feel like killing spiders, and I want to buy the string that I sold back. So let's put it in a sell bracket. And then you buy for $3 to make $32. Yeah, let's buy for $32 each to make a profit. All right, string one, because, oh, my bad. Uh, one, because usually somebody doesn't want to sell an entire stack, stack, stack of string. So let's do one. And again, you will have to put one string in there, just in case. So, to to have item to get item sold to you, you must have the item. So that makes sense. Sort of. So if you find one diamond, you could sell it or put it up for a bounty, and then get a ton of diamonds. Let's sell you diamonds. So you do that, do that, and whoever who. Whoever stumbles across your sign saying sell one string, say, hey, I got a string. Let's sell it to him. Oh, I sold one string. I gave myself money. See, the string is stored into the chest. Now, it doesn't matter the distance of the signs. It doesn't be, have to be like this. This chest could be all the way over on that mountain over there. And this sign would be right here. And it'd be fine. As long as you connect it with the redstone. The redstone is the key. And that's about it, really. Uh, you can, of, of course, make banks by doing the sell. People would sell gold, bar, gold ingots and then get $100. Because that's how this server works. The server has a uh, economy system to where one gold ingot is $100 in server money. So the, all banks are, all the ATMs are, is a chest and a sell sign that sells gold bars. And it gives you $100 back with an uh, ATM fine of like $0.05 cents or something. Or five dollars, and it's stored into the bank's uh, chest. That's all a bank is. It's just a sell sign. So you could do that on a server that would do that, or you could just make a plain old buy and sell shop. It always works. So I hope this video was extremely informative. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment of something that I may have missed out, on. and I'll make an annotation for the other people and tell you how to do it. So anyways, thanks for watching, and goodbye. Uh, well, I haven't said this in a while. Uh, go marry yourself. Huh. I haven't said that in a long time.